In this brief tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to overcome one of my biggest frustrations or pet peeves working with SQL Server Management Studio. Many times when I'm working with objects or objects change, the query analyzer, the query window does not notice the changes that I've made to my structures or in my database. Essentially IntelliSense is not so intelligent and we all wonder why that happens. So let me give you an example. I'm going to create this table. So I have a new table in my database called Dr. Wolf's Table. So we have this table here, it just got created. And what I'm going to do now is run a select statement from this table using IntelliSense. With IntelliSense here, as if I type this out from scratch, instead of uncommenting it, you'll notice it doesn't recognize my object, Dr. Wolf's Table, but you watch me just create it. It's a big frustration point for me and many users. They wonder why it doesn't show up and they wonder why there's a problem with their command. Well, there's really no problem with my command. The issue is the cache of IntelliSense did not update. There's an easy way to fix that. When you're not sure, when you're wondering why your query looks like there has an error, make sure you're clicked in your query window, go up to Edit, go up to IntelliSense, and refresh local cache or Control Shift R. You do that, your underline will go away and it will notice and acknowledge your new object. Click Execute. All is good. So again, Control Shift R or up to edit, IntelliSense, refresh local cache. Another thing to note real quick, as I've had this reported by others, if you're clicked over here on Object Explorer and you go up to edit, you'll notice your menu is different and you won't find the option for IntelliSense. Again, Make sure you're clicked here inside of your query pane. Go up to edit, IntelliSense, refresh local cache. I hope you found this tutorial useful and answers a question that many of you may have encountered like I have in the past. Please follow along on my YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials in the future or reach out to me directly. You can visit my website, professorwolf.com or you can email me at profwolf at professorwolf.com. Thank you all.